Hello YouTube, uh, I'm here to talk about it, what happened to me after the 17.1 open workout. On Sunday, I did this workout uh, around 11, 11.30 in the morning. I was feeling like pretty, pretty like slow on uh, on on the whole workout. I don't want to do gas and then and then um, cannot finish the workout. And then on the middle of the workout, I was stopping a lot to like breathe and then like feel dizzy. And um, I stopped for 30 seconds and sit in the box, but I didn't feel my lower back uh, burning or like blow up or anything. I just feel like um, a little dizzy. That's it. It was a kind of like normal thing in every single uh, uh, Mac con I do on a CrossFit. This has happened to me like often. So I said, like, well, it's not nothing wrong. Just like keep going really slow and then try to do as much reps as I can. Okay, I did that and then I finished. I was really tired and um, I went home, uh, take a shower, and then I, uh, me and my girlfriend Brittany was in a, was enjoying a birthday party on an afternoon. So and then we we got out. For dinner and I stay there and have some friends um, was fine I was walking everywhere I was not feeling pain or anything or sore or nothing it was like totally normal on Monday I wake up earlier drove to San Francisco to work I worked the whole day and um, came back home around six I guess no around like five and um, get changed and then went, went to the gym and then get some mobilized um, stuff to work in my body because I was feeling the sore on Monday. So I did that and then I have like a couple friends there who was really sore in the lower back too, having problems. It's like, well, that's normal. If I if they are better shape than me, they are feeling the sore, though this is normal. And then on Tuesday, I wake up early again, go to work around, when was around 11, no, 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I stopped the car and I said, well, I'm going to stretch a little bit, walk a little bit because my lower back is super tight. So, okay, I did that. I did that about one hour. I got lunch and I, and I go home because it was kind of like hard for me to drive. Like, I just go home. I went home and the pain starts getting like worse. And um, I went in the bathroom, take my shirt out and then look my back. My muscles was like swollen. I said, oh, this is what I don't want to see it. And um, after a little, a little bit, I drink water. And after a little bit, I went pee. And then I saw my pee was super brown. From there, I knew it. I, I got a rap though, which is really, really scary thing. And uh, which is really hard thing to, to, to go through. I, I called Brittany to come back home. I told her she, I need to go to the hospital and she said, no, don't go because they're only going to give you uh, a medicine for like relax your muscles uh, because she said that because she didn't know IP Brown. I didn't told her. And then when she got here and then I told her like, hey, I have to go to the doctor because I'm my pee is brown. And then she just like was scary on that time. She drove me to the hospital. I was like in pain, like so much pain. And then this lady, they put me in a room, IV in my vein. And I start like getting super cold and shaking. And it start like feel like really, really pain. And then I asked her like, hey, my pain is getting worse and worse. And then I was kind of uh, not seeing stuff straight. And then she gave me a morphine right away. So which I like, come coming down a little bit and then I stayed there for one day in Walnut Creek uh, Hospital and then from there on the next next morning the doctor came in and said hey your CK lab was like super high we have to like take you in other hospital to to take care of you uh, put me in the ambulance and then bring me to San Ramon and then I stay there for five more days actually five more nights and then it's hard to sleep I could not sleep more than like three hours every night uh, my lower back is sore hurts every single day hurts hurts i have like three four times like pain medicine i had to take because it hurts a lot so i got like iv in my vein like 24 hours a day for six days they probably i don't know how many gallons <laughs> they they give me but now i'm okay i'm home um i don't want it to to this happen with no one uh, my thoughts about uh, uh the rap though was like only athletes who who have like extremely like workouts or i don't know like one hour workout and then get like super super destroyed by the workout this can happen with them or like bodybuildings because i do kind of like normal workouts and then i'm not like just do workout for fun um and then no just like i was wrong i should like drink more water which i drink water normal i don't drink more water than like normal person you know i drink normal water i don't but after this lesson i'm totally like changing my ways to drink water i'm gonna drink like way more water than i used to because now i saw the core of my pee and then and what i have to go through was super hard and um 
I just wanted to give you a message for you guys out there who never had it and then doesn't know what the rap though is. Um, check it out, man. Like, just search, research, and then just be careful. I was not working out for probably two months. And then I started back in the gym doing like nothing crazy, just like row or like uh, uh, some lifting and then uh, running and air dine and then some like easy mat cons. But this was one or two and then the open comes and then I just jump on the freaking first workout. And say so like, well, I just go slow. I don't need to go super hard and then I'm going to have fun. But no, I was wrong. I was wrong so it's not about extremely 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 like workouts it's about like if you are dehydrated and jump on these workouts and then this can happen to whatever workout you're gonna take so the key is like have a lot of water in your body and then drink a lot of water um I learned <laughs> the hard way but I learned which is a good thing my lower back is still like really tight I cannot bend or grab stuff on the ground so probably now it's just like mobilize a lot and then i feel i feel my lower back numb um i feel my kidneys uh, area and in, in my back the skin it's it's numb too this was happening when i was on my way to the 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 hospital and then still the same thing i'm gonna wait like one more week and then see if it's like going away or wait one more day and then call the doctor and then said like hey my skin is too numb and then see what's gonna happen i wish i have the answer what, what's gonna happen after i can make another video if it's the case all right i want to say thank you for all the crossfit community text message me when i was in the hospital or like my friends come to see me the diablo crossfit who sent me a, a flowers um to my room in the hospital thank you so much um i will be back in the gym soon and then you guys are killing a, on a open workouts i haven't seen like some videos i hope i can be there soon but yeah that's it thank you guys have a good night i will be at the gym soon take care